Yeah, how about that band, huh? Woo! Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Friartown. My name is Bob Driscoll, and I'm the Director of Athletics here in Friartown, and it is a great day to be a Friar because we have a very great presentation today, some excitement that we're going to share with you today. But before I do that, I'd like to introduce some dignitaries on the stage. Father Brian Shanley, the president of Providence College. Nice round of applause, Father. <laughs> Father Ken Sicard, our executive vice president. Father Sicard, nice to have you here today. I want to uh, welcome our good friend Joe Calabria, who flew in from Colorado. Joe was one of the first major donors who made this a reality today. Joe, thank you for being here. Susan Robinson Fructal, our head women's basketball coach that you hear from here today. And the head basketball coach of the 14th ranked team in the nation, Ed Cooley. It sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Well, this is a celebration today, and the first speaker I want to introduce, uh, he's been my teammate for 10 years. Uh, he's been the best president I've had the opportunity to work with in 40 years, and you can see the transformation of our beautiful campus because of his vision and leadership. He understands the value that uh, athletics brings to Providence College. So how about a nice round of applause for the president of Providence College, Father Brian Shanley. Uh, thank you, Bob, and thank you all for taking time in a busy time of the year on a college campus to come out today. Uh, as Bob mentioned, it's, it's a great day to be a friar, but I think it's more than just a day. I think it's a great time to be a friar. I think this is, as we've used in some of our campaign literature, this is our moment. We are moving forward to excellence in so many ways. From the academic point of view, we just finished another round of hiring brilliant young PhDs to come to Providence College. We've hired over half of the faculty of Providence College in my tenure as president, and that's critical for the future of the college. We continue to have a record number of applications. Student interest in Providence College is higher than it's ever been before. We've upgraded the facilities on this campus in such a way that we truly have a beautiful place right now. Athletics is killing it right now. Uh, 14th rank in the country, number one in hockey. Ray Tracy only came in fourth in the country this year. Uh, and uh, seeing Julie Gavitt here, one of the things that Dave told me when I first got this job is that facilities are important for athletics, but more importantly, it's coaches. And we have managed to marry, and we are moving forward in that today, brilliant coaches, with the right facilities for them to lead our student athletes to excellence. And that's what we're here to announce today, our next phase moving forward in enabling our coaches to coach our student athletes to greatness. Today we're announcing a gift from Mike and Liz Ruwain. Mike and Liz Ruwain have been the most generous people that I've met in my life, and no one has had a greater impact on our campus than the Ruwains. And last Thursday we announced another endowed chair, the second endowed chair from the Ruane family. And today we're announcing the Ruane Development Center, which is the next phase in Providence College. Mike and his wife have given the greatest gift of a living person ever to the history of college, because Mike and Liz believe in what we're trying to do here at Providence College. And in a few moments, and you can see a rendering of it up there right now, we'll tell you more about this facility. But I want to stop and just say thank you to Mike and Liz Ruane and to all the other donors and benefactors who have made our vision possible. Let's give them all a round of applause. This is just phase one of a larger project, and the first phase of the project will include a new basketball practice facility and other spaces for athletic purposes. 
It will also include an atrium in the area over there connecting the Concannon Fitness Center, Slavin Center, Alumni Hall, including a new sports hall of fame. The Ruain Fryer Development Center will be more than just a facility for athletics. When this project is completed, and we've got new career development offices, we've got an expanded 64 hall, we're gonna have a connecting area here, athletics and student life, and indeed the whole campus will come together in a new way. Right now, it's like walking through the valley of death over there, there's nothing there. And things are pried apart. This facility, when it's finished, is gonna connect this whole piece, and it's gonna build an even greater community here. Mike uh, couldn't be here today with his wife, Liz, but I wanna recognize him. His name is on a lots of things on this campus. Two chairs, the Humanity Center, the Atrium, and now the Ruane Development Center. And I had to push Mike to get his name on things. It, he says, I'm not given just for, so my name is on something. But Mike has been extraordinarily successful in life, and he and Liz understand that great success comes with the opportunity to share those resources with other people. And Mike and Liz have shared so much with us, and I want to recognize Mike not just for the philanthropy that he's given, but also for the leadership that he's given. When I took this job, I didn't know what I was doing. I know some of you don't think I still know what I'm doing, but when I took this job, I didn't know what I was doing. And Mike's tutelage and mentorship and guidance was critical for me, especially when I began. I learned so much from him and from the other trustees who are here. And everything that we've done on this campus is as a result of the generosity of others. Everything that you see that has happened here has happened because of philanthropy. And I want to thank everybody who's contributed to what we're doing here at Providence College. It's also a team effort. Everybody's been working on this, from the folks in athletics, to the people in development, to the facilities people. This has been a team effort. And that's what we preach at Providence College. It's we, I've heard Coach say this many times, it's we together. We together have got ourselves to a place where we're gonna have an exciting new phase of development at Providence College. This is our moment. We all got here together, and I look forward to the future. Thank you for coming this afternoon. Thank you, Father. I failed to recognize Julie Gavitt and also Tom. Yeah, Julie, nice round of applause. Thank you for being here, Julie. Also, Tom Mullaney, the uh, son of the great Jill Mullaney. We're going to build a statue to these two great iconic coaches, and Joe Calabria is making a gift to make that happen in, in front of the atrium of this beautiful Ruane Center. And there's a beautiful picture. There it is right there. Two of the great legends that have passed on, and uh, thank you for being here today, and thank you for everything you've done for the Friars. You know, I want to echo Father's statement in thanking and appreciating everybody that made this happen. This is not about athletics. This is about us coming together as a community to give the best that they can be to build this spectacular facility from the Dominicans to the trustees to the students, the faculty, the staff, all of our teammates. This was a collaborative effort of people who didn't care about who got the credit. It was about working towards a common goal, and it's what makes Providence College special. And Ed says it all the time, it's us, we, together, Friar family. So give yourself a nice round of applause. Thank you for making this a reality. I also wanted to extend my thanks and appreciation to Liz and Mike Rowan. You know, when I arrived at Providence 14 years ago, the first person I got a call from was Mike, and he said, how can I help you? And I said, Mike, we don't have enough money. <laughs> you know, I figured that was a good, good comment from an AD, money's important, right? We just had our women's hockey team win its third Hockey East championship, and the reality at the time, we didn't have enough sticks. So Mike said, come on up and visit us. So Bobby Duraney and myself and two of his great student athletes went up there and I told him, Mike, we have a vision to become the model program in all of college athletics. And what I mean by that, I want our student athletes to treat people with dignity and respect. I want every single student athlete to graduate and I want to win championships. And I turned to these two young women, I said, that's the model right there. 
Now, there were 25 guys there, and by the time we left, we walked out of there. Bobby, where's Bobby Duraney? Coach, we walked out, what, $50,000, which was the largest gift we'd ever received in our life. We, we bought a lot of sticks, didn't we? We had a lot of sticks, but that was, that was the tipping point. Mike has given generously since then, and when we had the dinner with Greg and Steve Napolillo, my great teammate and father, Shanley, and, and some of our coaches, and Mike and Liz gave this what I called a transformational gift. I thanked and appreciated him for it. He said, Bob, this is not a transformational gift. This is a gift to ensure that you people continue to compete at a championship level, both academically and athletically. Now, Mike's a smart guy. He doesn't invest in losers. And the reality is true. We are no longer a good academic or athletic institution. We're a great academic and athletic institution. And this will put us on standard of any major Division I program in the nation. And it's not a coincidence that Father said we won the national championship in hockey. You build a big-time facility, you hire a big-time coach, you win a national championship. Ray Trace is the only savant that actually won a national championship, and he didn't even have a track. We build him a track, he wins another championship. There's no telling what he's going to do. We build a soccer facility, and Greg and his young men win the first Big East championship in the history of the college, make it to the Final Four. And then Sam Lopes takes his team to the championship game. Our goal was to make Providence College a destination for the greatest coaches and not a stepping stone. Now, we've arrived, but the challenge is to continue to push this forward every single day. So it doesn't happen without many of the donors that are sitting here today. The leadership of Father Shanley, who really supports us without him, it doesn't happen, and everybody in Friartown. This is a day for Friartown to be very, very proud. So please give yourself a nice round of applause. Thank you so much. <laughs> You know, we've talked a lot about this facility, and a picture's worth a thousand words, so I would like to show you a short video to give you a preview of what the new development center would look like. So please address the video boards. Less than two years from now, this part of campus, the heart of the Providence College community, will be transformed. Slavin Center, Concannon Fitness Center, and Alumni Hall will be united as one. Friartown Main Street will lead the way to a new two-story structure featuring a basketball practice facility and much more. When finished, this ambitious project will also yield a new career education and professional development center along with an expanded 64 hall. The Ruane Friar Development Center will be another example of this reality. Providence College has arrived. There's just so many inspirational spots on this campus and this will, when it's completed, through the generosity of our donors, allow another place of inspiration. With the natural lighting and the high ceilings and the integration of the two functions on the student affairs and the athletics together, it's just, it will be remarkable for many students. The impact on Friar Athletics will be immediate. With more than one court to share, the basketball and volleyball teams will have new opportunities for team and individual development and schedules that will promote academic success. Other training and team facilities will benefit all those who wear the Friar uniform. The Ruane Friar Development Center will bring together coaches, players, and staff, all working to build champions in competition and in life. One of the neat things about being a coach is that you get to see the changes that happen with them from their freshman year to their senior year, and you see the development that actually happens with them psychologically, physically, emotionally, spiritually, and, and the, this development center will make such a big difference in us being able to develop them on the court, in the classroom. I think this building will enhance the uh, experience of Friar student athletes for people in the future to come. It all comes down to this, us, we, family, together, friars. Go to a small school, but the big thing is like the community, we're all part of the support base is unbelievable. The people are here to help you. They're not gonna let you um, fail. It's really nice to know that there are people out there that support us and are willing to do this much for us and for all of the student athletes in the program that they want us to succeed. It'll be something that for once and for all will unite that entire group of buildings that's such an important part 
of the fabric of Providence College day-to-day -day life. Be able to be used for functions and events to celebrate the college as we go into our next hundred years. This will be something that will stand out, it will be remarkable, and it will be a part of everybody's memory of Providence College. How about a nice round of applause for the head coach of our women's basketball team, Susan Robinson Fructor. Coach? All right, well, it is a great day to be a friar. You see that uh, hashtag, Game Changer, and for those of you that tweet, please use that. Um, I told our players, take some pictures and, and tweet that. But, you know, I was thinking about that definition. You know, what is that definition? Well, Game Changer, it, it's an event, idea, or procedure that causes a significant shift in the current manner of doing or thinking about something. Ladies, this, this, is, a, this is a Game Changer. It's, it's a Game Changer for all of us, but more specifically for me, for women's basketball. This is a Game Changer, ladies, for us. Um, this is a Game Changer for women's basketball because it really shifts the way we think about it. We go from a small locker room to one that's three times the size. You can see it, you'll be able to touch it, you'll be able to, it changes the way we think, the way we feel uh, about women's basketball. You know, and it, I think of, uh, you know, imagine when my players walk into that locker room, practice facility, video room for the first time. And you, could, you, you can imagine the looks on their faces, and because I, I can picture that. I can have a clear picture. And then imagine what it'll be like when we walk through our first recruit through there, you know, through the new um, Office of Academic Services with the new study facility that's going to be on the second level. It's, it's going to be a, it's going to be a flat out game changer for recruiting in women's basketball. It really is. And there are some other specific ways that it will, I think you saw in the video, but it allows us, it allows Ed and I, and he's great to work with, but it allows us to practice at the same times. So it, this really helps our student athletes, helps my players study their classes, or schedule their classes in a more efficient manner. It helps their time management, uh, you know, in just a better way. It allows our players to have a first class study environment in this build, right in the same building. And when you walk through, I think it's going to be a tremendous thing. And it, it really shows everybody that comes through here that academics and athletics work hand in hand. I'm a big believer in that, and I'm a big benefit. Uh, I benefited from that match personally. So I, I can tell you firsthand that, that it does go, it's connected, academics and athletics. You know, we do a lot, in our program, we do a lot of individual skill development, trying to get our players to get in the gym on their own, and we work with them as coaches individually or in small groups. So this is going to allow them to, and us as coaches, to maximize that time that we can spend with them, that they can spend on their own. So as a coach, we're definitely looking forward to that. Um, you know, if there's anything that co at Providence College is about, I mean, it's about a lot of things, uh, but I know Father Shanley and Bob, you both you know, commented on it. It's about community. It's about family. That, and that's why I came here. And that's why, um, you know, it, every day is a joy coming to work. But it's about community. It's about having the highest mix of academics and athletics possible in the country. Um, it's about developing our players' winning character, you know, so they can compete for championships while they're here and that they will be able to take that winning character after graduation and compete in the real world and be successful at whatever they choose to do. Um, it's about teaching them life lessons. I'm a big life lessons. My, my players know I can get on the soapbox, but um, you know, teaching them life lessons that they will take in when they graduate and use that, because we all know life is not easy, right? And it'll, it'll get hard at some point, so they can take that. And this Friar Development Center, it helps all of that. It, it really, you know, that's the mission of the college, to, to take our student athletes, to take our students and help them grow and be successful after graduation. So it really is a game changer for all of those things. I, I just want to personally thank Father Shanley, Father Sicard, John, um, Bob, 
and Ed, I want to thank you, Joe, and, I, and especially, obviously, Mike and Liz Ruane. With, without their generosity, this would not be possible. And really, there's many of you here that have either given to this in the past or will give to it in the future. And I just want to say thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart, from our players' hearts. And we do something. We started this, and I'm going to ask, ask Aaliyah just to come up here. And I want to ask Ed to help because um, – so we have five commitments this year for our team. And we use this to recognize anybody in our program or outside of our program, um, to appreciate them and recognize them for exemplifying those commitments. And our commitments this year are communication, trust, pride, positivity, and being a great teammate. And so when we fill this, we use Starburst. Okay, and when we fill this as a team, we're going to do something special as a group, and we're going to celebrate it. But I want to ask Ed, because I know Ed probably has bigger hands than I do. So Ed, can you just grab a handful, and my players will appreciate this, because we've been putting one in at a time. Can you grab a handful and stick it in that jar? Can I have a couple? I don't know. Leah might get on you, because I haven't let her have any until it's filled up. So when we get that filled up, but I just want to thank everybody. We want to thank everybody. And we're going to celebrate soon because he's putting a lot in there, right? Anymore? That's good, man. Right, Thanks. Enough. I appreciate that. All right. Father thank Shannon you. said he'll buy you another bag. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I know everybody's put in countless hours into doing this, and it's really cool to see it come to fruition. Thank you. Ed, you can't have that design about it if you're going to need Starburst, baby. Throw those back in the bucket. Hey, before I introduce our head coach of the men's basketball team, I wanted to share a video with you that we put together a couple of years ago. We've been dreaming about today for a long, long time. And as Michael Wayne said today, take a moment and pause and reflect at what a special moment that is. And this video was something that Coach Napolillo and myself and Ed took around uh, with Greg to present to prospective donors, and it was quite successful, but I wanted to share it with you today because it's kind of cool. We have conviction to be great. We're going to make sure that we prove that not only are we the best, but we're the hardest working team and we care about one another. Today, we're here building something bigger than you. We're building a legacy. We will look back at this day and say we did it. We'll come back and say it was us, it was we, it was family, together, friars. Most people know that Providence College was one building when it started, and it's grown from there to all the buildings that we have today. College is so different now from where it was in 1917. And one of the things that we've tried to do, and I think this uh, campaign will help us to get there, is become a national destination school. We think this development center will enable us to become even more of a world-class institution. It will be an announcement in some ways that we've arrived. One thing that's really important about this building, and I share this with my staff all the time, that we're, we're in a marathon, and we have a, a baton, and we run as far and as long as we can, and we pass it on to the next generation. And what's exciting about this building, this will touch the lives of everybody who's come before, and those student athletes will come in the future. So it's a living uh, legacy that uh, everybody can really be proud of.
Really proud of you guys. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Yeah, dreams come true, right? If, if you can visualize it, it can happen. I wanted to thank and appreciate John Sweeney and Perkins Eastman for this great presentation and their leadership. So give those folks a nice round of applause as well. You know, it's hard to believe as I stand here four and a half years ago, I introduced Coach Cooley, Father Shale and I introduced Coach Cooley as the head coach of the Friars, and at the time our program was in disarray, and I remember Ed standing up here saying, get your tickets now we're gonna, because we're going to win, and we're going to win big. And at the time I was trying to temper what Ed had to say, but you know what? He is absolutely over-delivered. Think of where we've been in the last four years, an NIT tournament, back-to-back -to -back NCAA tournaments, a Big East championship a 14th ranked team in the nation, the student athletes are graduating, have the best basketball player in the country. We're gonna build the Rowan Fryer Development Center and it's because of his passion, his leadership, and his will and belief. Now I can tell you, he's a great coach. I've been in athletics for 40 years. He's a great coach, but he's a better person, he's a better husband, he's a better father, he's a better friend. Folks, Coach Ed Cooley. I don't know much about Twitter and hashtags, but it resonated in me when it was hashtag game changer. And I think all of us have game changing moments. Mine, first and foremost, I remember on, it was probably March 20th of 2011, I turned to the greatest partner, greatest person, greatest wife ever, and she's my hashtag game changer when I talked to Norris, and I want to welcome her today. <laughs> to me, to me, and I remember being up here, and it was in March uh, 22nd of 2011, and I remember looking at our players, and I said, you got to trust and you got to believe. I think we all have to believe. We asked the Providence Journal to make sure that we kind of put the negativity aside that has been casted over our program and said, we need your help. And I thank Bill Reynolds. I thank Kevin. I thank all of our coverage people who have given us the opportunity to give our players, which is the most important thing. It's not about a building. It's never about a building. It's about the people inside the building. And when you have incredible leadership like Father Shanley, Father Sicard, Father Noel, Bob Driscoll, somebody who is vastly underrated and under the radar guy and Steve Napolillo, you're gonna have success. But where does success start? With a dream. I think we all have incredible dreams. When you close your eyes every night, you don't wake up and say, I hope I dream of something bad, right? You go to bed thinking, I'm gonna have a dream of possibility. And when we came here and took this job, that's all it is. It's a dream of possibility that we're living every single day. I look at our players, I tell them, dream big. Everybody says, well, you're a small school. It's okay, we'll be small, but we have big hearts, we have big dreams, and one incredible family. We're gonna do the best we can every single day. And through the generosity of many people that are here, I see Frank, I see Dr. Marsace, I appreciate you being on the roll with us when you come. I see my man, Ken Canestrary, who, who you need to smile more, by the way. All right, we gotta get you smiling. It's okay to smile, it resonates. Many people have helped this day come true. Many people that we haven't recognized. People that are in the audience today, our students, our faculty, our staff, our support group, our cheerleaders, our dance team, our band. Everybody's part of this Friar family. And I think this is just a begin. It's a long way to go. I'm not believing in a ranking. I believe in those wonderful young men in that locker room that not only do I trust, but I absolutely love. Many of you don't get to see the development that we see every single day from kids who come in here that don't know much, but leave with a vast of knowledge to think that they too can become great. We talk about the NBA, but it's more important to me that these young men graduate to come back and give back to the Providence College experience. This place is special. It's extraordinary, not ordinary. And for those of us that are blessed to be touched by the people here, you are incredibly fortunate. Don't ever, ever take that for granted. This place has touched the lives of many that have come back today to make this a reality. 
Everybody says, you're never going to get a building there. They don't believe in athletics. I said, well, it's a dream. You're never going to win at Providence. I said, it's a conversation. How are you going to do it? The people. Guess what? Four and a, sh four and a half short years, there's going to be a building here that will integrate everyone, not just basketball. This is going to touch the lives of everyone that walks on our campus. It'll be a central point. It'll be a meeting place. It is a melting pot where we all come together and everybody, including Ken Canastray, can smile, <laughs> right? When you smile, it is a icebreaker, man. It doesn't matter what color you are. It doesn't matter if you're rich or poor. When you smile, it is about us. It is about we. It is about together, family, friars. I believe it every single day. Don't anybody doubt greatness, because it's there. It's we got to find it. This will help us not only become great, but we will win at another level. It's not just a conversation, it's the conversation of possibility. I appreciate everybody for coming today. Our journey is just beginning. Continue to ride it. It is incredible. Smile, be happy, love you, go Friars. Who's ready to play, huh? John, you'd go to practice after that speech, wouldn't you? Thank you, Eddie. Love your energy. That's why I was successful, right, in belief. I told you it was gonna be a great day to be a friar, didn't I? Was I right? Yeah, I was right. Two things I ask you to do. Appreciate the moment. Life is short. I tell my student athletes all the time, tell somebody that you love them, appreciate it, and be present. And the last thing, I can't let you get out of Friartown without you giving me your best go fries. I know some of you are a little stiff and uptight here. But Coach Leary, you can get them going. Ready? On the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Go Friars! I love it. Thanks for everything. Talk to you soon.